game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Chicago Cubs and the Iowa Cubs. And now please welcome your Iowa Cubs. Tyson Miller, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. He will lead this one off today. The center fielder, number eight, Ian now here's the first offering. Sends that one out of play for strike one. First pitch, one o'clock. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. One of the toughest pitches to hit, the straight changeup, right? El Cambio. Hadn't seen it in that entire at bat. And what happens? Gets the string pulled on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. A pretty good swing right there as he drives this ball deep. One hops over the wall and he could just walk into second base with a ground rule double. Anthony Rizzo stands in now as it's grounded sharply to first right to him and he'll take this one to the bag for the out but meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base the third base Chris Bryant. now with the plate is Chris Bryant runner in scoring position with two gone. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch line drive base hit and the run will score as the Cubs strike first to lead it one nothing I know we sit up here and talk about it a lot just grabbing the momentum trying to tack on early runs as quick as possible it allows the pitcher to go out there relax attack the strike zone it keeps everybody involved that two out RBI I know it's early but that just gives everyone a chance to just relax and compete so next to bat will be the left-handed hitting Jock Peterson into the corner and slicing foul. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Here comes the 0-1 on the ground to the right side. Field it cleanly and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Kyle Hendricks is on the mound for the Cubs in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy's a throwback to when you didn't have to throw the ball through a brick wall. Great assortment of pitches, Kyle Hendricks. He sinks it, he cuts it, has a great changeup, moves the ball in, out, up, and down. Certainly won't blow up a radar gun, but you know what you're going to get every five days from this guy? As consistent a starting pitcher as there is in the league right now. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, d -Roll, this looks like it could be a high-scoring affair. That Home exactly. team comes up now, and the they've catcher. got something brewing in the bottom yeah. of the first. Yeah, 100%. Oh, Anytime you put that leadoff batter on base, that spells disaster for the pitcher. You don't know. You can work the bunt, hit and run, steal. Oh, I forgot. They don't bunt or hit and run anymore. 
And that'll bring in Miguel Amaya as this is grounded foul off to the left. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Another one sent foul. Well, the key for him on the mound is to keep the ball down. Certainly, hollow of the knee or lower. Sinker changeup guy, if he's going to succeed against this lineup, he's got to keep the ball down. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a two-run shot to left center as they take the lead. It's two to one. This is exactly what you want your offense to do, to get your fans involved. Bottom of the first inning, let's get it started early with a homer. So now to the plate, Patrick Wisdom. He grounds it sharply to third. Bryant's got it, and a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. The first baseman. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Jared Young. First pitch of the A-B on its way. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. The wind up and the 0 1. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. High in the air down the right field line. Still only one out in the inning. Lined to short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. Batting fifth, the right fielder. Michael. Next to hit is Michael Hermosillo. First pitch of the A-B now. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Hey, tough play right there, but let's be honest. Let's stay in the trust tree. He had trouble getting that out of his glove. If that exchange was cleaner, I think he would have had the out. At the plate, Jose Gutierrez, as he'll ground the first pitch foul off to the right side. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. This is pulled into right, and that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Hey, this pitcher better make an adjustment. That's a lot that's of loud job. contact. That's four bullets in the first inning to open up this game. At the plate now, Sergio Alcantara. As he'll come up empty that time on a sinker at strike one. Another first inning RBI opportunity for him here. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. Hermosillo at second. Gutierrez on at first with two down. Again, another foul ball. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Hayward on the run, and no one will track it down. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. 
This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. Hey, five foul balls in a row, loving the battle in the box right here, making the pitcher work. Now here's a fly ball, well hit. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. We'll head to the top of the second, and it's now a two-to-one ball game. Here's Javier Baez. He'll lead it off here to begin the second. The shortstop, Javier Baez. First offering. He swings and sends it in the air out to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Batting seven. The right fielder, Jason Hayward. Digging in next, Jason Hayward. Now here's the first offering. Slow grounder to first. Reined in. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Batting in. The next the cub base. up, David Bodie. David. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot here to left. And just like that, this ball game is all tied. Ugly swing followed by a next pitch homer. It could be one of two things. Either he made an in at bat adjustment or he set that pitcher up right there. Eric Sogard will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number four, Eric Sogard. The pitch as he lines it hard to the right side but out of play. Oh, one the pitch sent on the ground out to second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. But the Cubs draw even thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of inning number two, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Alec Mills, a six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 30, Alec Mills. So now to the plate, Ian Miller. Leading up for the Cubs, the center fielder, Ian. Now the first pitch. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Cole Roderer will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Pitch hitting for your Iowa Cubs. Number seven, Cole Roder. Pitch on the way. Hit in the air down the right field line. Hayward giving chase, but he doesn't have a chance. It's over his head. And he is in at second base with a one out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt number foul, but it hugged the line and found second its way man. into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. 
In now is Nico Horner as he rips it on the ground to second. Scooped up, and that's the second out. Ready to take his hacks again. Miguel Amaya blasted a two run homer in his last at bat. From the stretch, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. Throw to the plate. And he will beat the tag at the plate as he scores to make it a 3 2 game. Next to dig in, Patrick Wisdom. He bounced out last time up. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Amaya is off of first with two away. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Peterson finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. A run, a hit, and a man left. We'll go now to the top of the third. The I Cubs are out in front, three to two. Joe Biagini is ready and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 41, Joe Biagini. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. He's set, here it comes. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Uh, you could see from up here as soon as that ball hooked foul right there the air came out of the dugout. He's got to find a way to regroup and continue this at bat. And this will get through into right and he's aboard with a single. So a leadoff single will be the start to their half of the third. Boy there's another base hit and this is just kind of like that gift that just keeps on giving D. Rowe. Both teams piling up the hits and we're just in the third inning. Yeah their ears were open on both sides during the pitchers meeting today. Good plan at the plate. A lot of execution from the offensive side on both sides. And that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. The first baseman number 44. Anthony Rizzo. Next, it'll be Anthony Rizzo trying here to plate the tying run from second. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Third inning. Already a 3-2 ball game. Now Rizzo belts one, carrying well to right field. And it's gone! So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field as they've taken a two-run lead. Well, with no outs, you can afford to give up a single, but you can't afford to give up a three-run homer. He just caught too much of the plate. Now he's back to the drawing board. No outs, and the inning is already an ugly one. Now that Here's Chris Bryant now. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. Throw into second. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. And with that double, now he's that two for two and halfway to the cycle. Gosh. Gave it a good ride, and that's the second time he's barreled up the ball. So he's seeing the ball really well. See if his teammates can pick him up and bring him home now. 
Here's Jock Peterson now. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Peterson is a big threat in a matchup like this. He's got a ton of pop against right-handed pitching. Yeah, I think because of his approach. He's not a dead pull guy. You want to try and sneak a piece of cheese in or hang something over the hook. This ball gets down. Let's see if they try to score. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. He just sports that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. And that brings up Javi Baez. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Line drive to left. Gutierrez is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Boy, this one looked like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley, but he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. Here's Jason Hayward now. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. This is a situation where you almost have to play mind tricks on yourself if you're out there on the mound. Four runs have come across already this inning, but now the bases are empty. He's not in danger anymore, so he's just got to tell himself he's doing fine and he just needs to get this inning over with. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. And the hits just keep on a coming against this arm. Yeah, Matt, and I'm not sure how much longer they can leave him out there. Not only is he hurting the team, it's probably doing some damage to his psyche as well. In now, David Bodie. This is hit sharply to the left side. And that's through into left to base hit. I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Zach Davies will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 27, Zach Davies. set and the pitch and a big hit here with the bases loaded could really put this one out of reach early on a one count here's the pitch and solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left gone it's a grand slam So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one, as this is now a seven-run ball game. In a pitcher's worst nightmare, you could never imagine being part of this kind of an inning. Yet here he is, alone on the mound, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. He might be the loneliest man on the planet right now. That's not a fun place to be. The center fielder, number eight, Ian into the box Ian Happ as he'll swing and send a chopper out to second fielded cleanly and there are two away now so two are gone now in the Cubs half of the third and Wilson Contreras digs in at the plate First delivery to him. Hard on the ground towards short. Reined in. And it's in time at first. And finally, at long last, the side is retired. But not before they claim the lead here as they bat around and hang an eighth spot on him. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Cubs lead it 10 to 3. Yeah. 
And now in the box, Jared Young hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Right side, but it's well foul. Here's the 0 1. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Hey, there's a hard hit ball that was going to be down for extra bases. The ball had some spring on it, and it bounced over the wall, and the ground rule double puts him on second base without having to leg it out. Into the box now, Michael Hermosillo. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Runner in scoring position here already following the ground rule double. And he falls behind 0 and 2. A runner at second, nobody out. Down the third baseline. Bryant is up with it, and the throw to first is in time, one gone. Next up, Jose Gutierrez singled in his last at bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield he's going to wave them and that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases now this rolls all the way to the wall and the runner scores from second as they chip into the deficit here and he is in there with an RBI triple now that is Wow, with one out, and he clutches up with an RBI triple, which is his second hit of the game. So he's starting to put together a pretty big game here. To the plate now, Sergio Alcantara, as he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. A pause and the 0-2. Liner towards second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. The center fielder, number six, Ian. Stepping in next, Ian Miller. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. A swing and he pulls it down the line and deep and that ball will stay fair and it's gone a home run. So a two run homer down the line in right field as they've cut this deficit down to four. Well, one of the narratives of today's game has been driven by the long ball. We've seen these squads go deep a combined five times in this one. Yeah, Matty V, you know what, Dero? There's an old saying, when the temperatures start to heat up, so do the bats, and that's what we saw in this one. Yeah, Dan, without question, when the weather heats up, there's Ladies nothing better than putting on a uni and getting please. after it. Maybe you got a little 5 o'clock shadow work Iowa and haven't Cubs. shaved in a couple days, Number and you're 15. trying to go bridge. And that's Grab exactly man. what these teams did today. Weather Grab was man. warm, they were letting it go. Smoke toward third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him, a base hit. Hey, he might have been able to get his body in front of no that. Matter. I don't Double know. Two. But the bottom Second line is, I love the effort to slide and try and knock that down, but it was just too hard a play to make. Standing in now, Nico Horner. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. Half is there makes the catch and the ball game is over. Hey, this was a great three-inning game with a lot of action. 
Very rarely in a short abbreviated game do you get to see a slugfest like we were able to watch today. 10 to 6 the final score in this game. The Cubbies put a 10 spot on the scoreboard in this one. Alec Mills is the winning pitcher of record. Joe Biagini was slapped with eight earned runs as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of the crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshow.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs.